Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Hello and good afternoon greetings from De Pere, Wisconsin. What's this? The boss just gave me a pre-plan. We are to deliver this load to Marathon Cheese. And picking up also in Marathon Cheese. Headed for uh, Terrell, Texas. So we are delivering to Marathon, picking up at the same place for Texas. All right, once again today it is uh, Monday, April, do, 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 April 15, 2019. Local time is 3.04, temperature is 54 degrees. And as I said, Grace and I are on our way to Marathon City, Wisconsin. 110, 11 miles. 110, 11, really? 110 miles from here. We're going to go through downtown historic Deep Pierre, Wisconsin. Grace had her second uh, oil change today, service. The current mileage is, if you would, write this down, 57,968.3. Uh, the only thing that was done extra was to do a wheel alignment because it was pulling to the right and now it's tracking really nice now they also switched the steer tires because the steer tire were coning And that's it. Everything else is good to go. To our left is the Fox River.
figure out a way how I can discourage these four wheelers to be running alongside me here and uh, I'm gonna have to take both lanes here and they keep coming One pickup is, uh, he knows what he's doing. He's letting me go by. He's gonna allow me to take both lanes here. Go, 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 come on, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Yeah, it turns out roundabouts and uh, trucks and cars don't mix well. They really don't. Fifty-five degrees right now and the Sun it just feels so nice and warm
blue, na 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 blue blue. I know where Long Haul Larry is. He's on his way to Pennsylvania. I believe we go straight because we're going to take Highway 29. Yeah, uh, yesterday, while I was trying to uh, brush my teeth, and I usually, my wife and I use a water pick. So I was using a water pick, and next thing I know, my upper crown, the crown that's on my upper jaw, on the way in the back, came off it came loose no I think I th actually that was on Saturday man I'm so glad I didn't swallow it Eesh. take a guess take a guess a wild guess how much that crown is and I'm thinking to myself well if I swallowed it, would would I dig it out? <laughs> would I, you know, find me a bucket and fish for it? And I'm thinking, you know what, for 400 bucks, and I'm thinking, 400 bucks, yeah, I don't think so. Until the dentist told me how much it was. Eleven hundred dollars for that crown. Eleven hundred dollars for a, a false tooth. 
You gotta be kidding me. That's more expensive than gold. So this early this morning, I had an emergency call to the dentist. I said, uh, yeah, I'm leaving for Texas. I don't know when I'll be back. Can you squeeze me in? Says, well, we're gonna have to move people around. And they did. They were very accommodating. Got me in at 10.30. And this is the second time it came off. I guess the first time it came off, or the last time, was in 2013. Same thing happened. So boy, I'm I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that they uh, they were they managed to get me in today because I couldn't I couldn't drink anything cold. My tooth was very sensitive. Well, everything is back to normal at the house. AJ is back to school. Jackie just started her second new job. She works at Kohler Company now. So Tampers and Jackie are uh, alone at the house. Miko is also back to work and school. I'm on the road so everybody's uh, back to where they're supposed to be. Now, Estrada, as my wife was taking me to work today, kind of gave her a hug, gave her a kiss, and and I thought, and I said to her, I said, you know, we've been doing this for we've been doing this for 16 years together. You would think we get used to it by now. And it, it isn't. It, it's, it is just as hard to say goodbye as it was the first time. Sometimes harder than others. But it's never easy. But you know, it just makes life, makes it a lot better or a lot more a lot more to look forward to going home you know the things we miss the things we miss more and that my friend is pretty much the life of a truck driver The married ones anyway right but I'm sure it's no easy task for single people life is hard man life is hard as someone said if it was a perfect world it wouldn't be perfect we'll catch you guys later Thanks for watching, everybody. Johnny, be good here. Have a good and godly day. Peace.